So proceeding on to the next question that is your question number 26 it says that the average temperature of the surface of the planet uh, is five times greater than the average temperature of the surface of its moon okay so suppose there are two planets uh, this is the planet and this is the moon of the planet and they are given that the surface temperature of the planet okay so it's uh, is five times greater than the moon so if the moon temperature is t so that means the temperature of the planet will be 5t right the emissivities of the planet and the moon are the same so sigma is same for both the planets okay so what is the average intensity radiated by the moon okay uh, when the average intensity radiated by the planet is i okay so they are given that the intensity radiated by the planet is i okay so what is i i is equal to your uh, sigma e into t to the power 4 that means the temperature to the power 4 okay what is the temperature 5t right so that means the intensity is actually how much is actually 5 to the power 4 t to the power 4 sigma into e now what is 5 to the power 4 it's nothing but 625 okay sigma e t to the power 4 okay so now we want to find the intensity by its moon okay so suppose the intensity by its moon be i dash so what is i dash sigma e into temperature to the power 4 that is t to the power 4 right so i dash is what i dash is sigma e t to the power 4 okay but we want the answer in the form of i okay very easy actually so over here what is sigma e t to the power 4 i by 625 this is equal to your sigma e into t to the power 4 right so that means from here we get that i dash would be equal to your i by 625 so which is the correct option so this is not the correct option okay so the correct option is option number c option number c so this is the correct option. so proceeding on to the next question that is your question number 27 which of the graph shows the variation of activity a with the temperature t for the radioactive nucleide right so that means we know that the activity a varies with time as a is equal to a naught e to the power minus of kt right so that means k over here is a constant okay so that means over here if i say that at time t equal to zero a will be equal to your a naught e to the power minus zero so this will be equal to your a naught right so that means that t equal to zero or a will be equal to a naught right so that means that t equal to zero the graph will be touching the y axis right so which graph is touching this graph and this graph so in between option number c and option number d the one will be correct right again see that at t equal to your infinity right so what will happen a is equal to a naught e to the power minus infinity right so that means over here a will be equal to your a naught divided by e to the power infinity so this will tend to your zero right so that means at very large time at time tending to your infinity so that means the activity will be activity will tend to zero right so that means at very very large time the activity will tend to zero right in option number c they are telling that after a very small time t the activity is tending to zero right but it will not be the case why because after a very long time only that means that time tending to infinity a will be uh, zero a will tend to zero right so that means a will tend to zero after a very long period of time right so that means the correct option to your question number 27 will be option number d why because see in option number d after a very long time if i just extend the graph after a very long time it will tend to zero right so that means the correct option to your question number 27 is option number d i hope you got the question